Hey friends, today we're hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and it's gonna be our first time being back here in the new year 2022. I wanna go around, ride some rides, eat some food, maybe a little breakfast. I have my eyes on some Mickey waffles possibly and just have a fun, amazing day at the Magic Kingdom. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's about 9.30 a.m. and I usually don't come to the parks early, but I wanted to come today and just see what the crowds were like. It is the marathon week here at Walt Disney World, so it is going to be a little bit busy. It also looks like some of the Main Street transportation vehicles are out. And how cool would it be to start off the day by riding in one of the Main Street transportation vehicles? my lord I'm about to have the biggest smile on my face because I got over to the omnibus right when it was just about being full they said that I can sit in the front the cast members said you can sit up front with me and this is gonna be like a dream come true I am so excited I get to sit in the front I am so excited <laughs> oh my lord this is so amazing Look at how awesome this is. This was originally in Epcot. Look at the Epcot symbol right there. And I just love seeing all of the different functions, the wipers, the step, the start. This is the this is so I'm very happy. I'm like kind of giddy. I'm I'm very giddy right now. This is probably one of the best things I think I've ever done in a long time here. I love it. <laughs> okay, that was that was amazing. <laughs> I don't think there could have been a better way to start this video off. I feel like slightly embarrassed because I was like geeking out and the cast member was so cool and he was showing me all the stuff and like I was like very geeky. <laughs> I get that way because like the littlest things matter like so much to me. That's something I've never done. I got to ride like the omnibus but like being in the front, it was so, it was amazing. It was really cool and it's like an Epcot bus. That's the best thing ever. Now that we've officially checked off something from my bucket list, I think we're gonna go try to find some breakfast. Before we go get some Mickey waffles though, there is a Mickey waffle spirit jersey that I've seen that looks really cool. So I might hop over to Tomorrowland to see if they have it in stock. I already checked the Emporium and it looks like they don't have it, but I would love to get a Mickey waffle spirit jersey as I'm eating a Mickey waffle in the Magic Kingdom. I think that sounds phenomenal. Here is a look at the Mickey Waffle Spirit Jersey, and I love it. It is so cool looking, and I would love to be able to wear it while I eat my Mickey Waffle, but it looks like they only have extra small. <laughs> extra small is the only available size here. Lots of the popcorn one, but this is the cool one. This is the one I want. I suppose we're just gonna have to keep our eyes peeled for the Mickey Waffle Spirit Jersey and settle for eating a Mickey Waffle instead of wearing one. But you never know because the way I eat, I might end up wearing it as well. I mobile ordered my Mickey Waffle from the Sleepy Hollow Refreshments and I wonder how easy it is to use mobile order because I've never used it before. So I wonder if I just pick it up at the window or do I still have to wait in the big, big line here? And that was super awesome. When you mobile order, you just go straight to the window so you don't have to wait in a line. And here it is, my Mickey waffle. I love it. Lots of powdered sugar. I'm probably going to have this all over me. And I also got some strawberries and some whipped cream and then syrup. Which way do you guys like it? Do you like it just plain syrup? Do you like it with strawberries and whipped cream? Or do you like the fresh fruit on there? I kind of like a little bit of a mixture of these, but I don't like them combined. So I'll do half syrup, half strawberry. Isn't that a little strange? But I, it's kind how it's like the best of both worlds and plus I got some simply orange I honestly feel like I might have to treat this Mickey waffle like a beignet so I don't end up getting powdered sugar all over myself even though I did say but that's not the waffle itself that's just the powdered sugar but I'm gonna have to like I don't know like cut it and eat it like this first we're gonna add a little bit of the syrup here we'll go to the right side and we gotta get it all in the ears all in the ears And of course, you always have to go ears first. So we're gonna just scoop, see, take the ear right off there. Ooh, <laughs> and that's the way. 
Now it's time for the strawberries. Look at that. <laughs> it is truly like the best of both worlds. You can see right here, you can see a little bit of the syrup and the strawberry kind of combining, but the waffle is still pretty much like good. It's right down the center. So a little bit of syrup, a little bit of strawberry, and then you can mix them. And there we go, breakfast complete. And I kind of avoided getting powdered sugar or waffle all over me. So I feel like it's gonna be a good day now. Now I think I'm gonna make my way over to Adventureland. I haven't spent a lot of time over there, so I thought maybe we'll hang out there for a bit. Do you remember earlier I was telling you it's gonna be a busy day because it is marathon week here, and wow, I wasn't expecting it to be this busy. I was thinking in my head, why not go over to Adventureland? Maybe we can ride the magic carpets of Aladdin, but look at this. It is a 45 minute wait for the magic carpets of Aladdin. 45 minutes! That's how you know it's busy in Disney World. Holy moly! Okay. I think we're gonna have to go find one of those big signs that shows all the wait times at like a hole and formulate a plan. That's the plan right there. Here is the wait times. Astral Orbiter is 55 minutes. Buzz Lightyear 60 minutes. Space Mountain 50 minutes. The Speedway 35. Jungle Cruise 70 minutes. Uh, see Mickey at Town Square is only 10 minutes. Go meet Mickey is 10 minutes. Haunted Mansion 65 minutes. Big Thunder 50. Splash Mountain 55. So everything's about 30 to an hour. Oh, the Mad Tea Party is 20. That's not too bad. Mad Tea Party 20 minutes. I love how I said we don't spend a lot of time in Adventureland. We walked over there, I seen the wait for the magic carpets, and now we're leaving. <laughs> I don't know why I even said, I think we'll spend a little time over there. I caved in and I ended up buying Genie Plus, just because I want to ride some rides. So the first available thing that we can do, like closest to our time, might be the Barnstormer at 12.05. Yeah, because it's 11.29 now. Oh no, we could do Dumbo. I could do Dumbo actually. Maybe I'll do Dumbo. Let me book let me book Dumbo here. Yeah, I like doing Dumbo. Wow. So we can like head over to Dumbo and do that right now. To Dumbo and the Barnstormer, it is. I really haven't talked much about the things that I'm excited for in the new year 2022 here at the Magic Kingdom. I would love to see Tron open and also the railroad come back. And uh, oh, it would be so amazing if Genie Plus disappeared and they brought Fast Pass back, but that's never gonna actually happen. And uh, until then, we just gotta make the best of it. Oh, here comes Seven Doors Mine Train, I think so. I hear it. Oh yeah, there it goes, right up this hill right here. Hi ho! I'd be excited if the mask actually disappeared in 2022. Uh, I mean, I'm still gonna wear it until they tell me, you know, it's okay not to wear it. And speaking of the mask, uh, I think there's only one ride here at the Magic Kingdom you can ride without it, and that is the Barnstormer. I think so, I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure. Dumbo, you still technically need to wear a mask because you go indoors for the queue, but Barnstormer has no, like, inside queue and maybe the uh, magic carpens uh at aladdin that might be the other attraction huh i kind of just realized that so first we're gonna do dumbo here and then we're gonna do barnstormer and i can't wait to do the barnstormer because we're gonna get a good view of tron and the railroad so we're gonna be able to see over and actually see the progress of that and plus barnstormer is actually one of my favorite rides i love goofy and i know it's kind of like a kid coaster but I think it's so fun. A staggering series of stupendous stunts. I just asked a cast member and they said you don't need to wear your mask on Dumbo. You do have to wear it when you go in the building or in the queue, but because this attraction doesn't have an exit into an indoor building, you don't have to wear it while you're on the ride. And I never knew that. Because like take Big Thunder Mountain, you go inside the queue, you have to wear your mask, then you ride the ride, and then when you get off the ride, you actually go back, it, you're inside the building, because the loading is inside, but the ride is outside, and you have to wear your mask then. But something like this, you don't. Step right up, pick any available Dumbo, and I think we're gonna go with uh, Dumbo Green. Nope, nope, not that one, Double Pink. Dumbo Pink. This is my Dumbo for the day, or for the next, four minutes. 
All we need to do is believe and soar. And that's it. I thought I was gonna time that perfectly. We'll do it again, you ready? All you have to do is believe and soar. Whoa, I did good there. <laughs> We're going all the way up. I say that every time I'm on this ride because I love it. We gotta catch up to that Dumbo up there. <laughs> there we go, hey, where you going? Oh, look at that view right there, Astro Orbiter. I'd love to ride that too. I love being here. <laughs> it is so amazing, wow. We're soaring, we're flying. Oh, look, you can see Cinderella Castle right there too. Now I think we're gonna bring it down a little bit. Bring it down, we gotta bring it down. Why ain't I going down, there we go. Bringing it in, bringing it in. We're gonna be riding low, riding low. Ooh, if you come down kind of fast, it makes you like kind of bounce. I'm the only one that's down low. <laughs> it brought me back up to the top and I was trying to stay low. I was trying to be like low, low. But I think we're going down now. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. And bada boom. And now it's time for our appointment with the great Goofini. The great Goofini. I'm happy I have a lightning lane for this because it's a 40 minute wait. Like these attractions used to be like the ones that you would go to that are like 10, 15 minutes. But now because of Genie Plus, they're super long. Before we actually go on in, let's kind of peek over here and see what's happening with Tron and also with the uh, railroad. This is a new building right here. I haven't seen this before. Wow. Is this something you would have to, oh, I bet you this is where you have to cross and the train comes underneath it. That makes total sense. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it from here though because they have these trees blocking it. But we can see the Tron at least now programming. All right, now it's time to get on the Barnstormer. Here we go, this is what I was talking about before. Once you get up on the queue, you get a good look of a lot that's happening over there. I cannot wait for the railroad to come back. That is one of my favorite things to do, just sit back and relax. Oh look, all the construction workers are actually on lunch right now. Looks like they're having a big picnic. I wanna go to that picnic. <laughs> I'm probably more excited for the railroad than I am Tron. I mean, not really, but I do miss the railroad a lot. Here it comes. Gorsh, folks. This ride is so fast, it's gonna be over in seconds. Like, it goes by like that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, there we go. And it's done. I think it's under a minute. <laughs> Fly again soon. As soon as I got done riding uh, the Barnstormer, I opened up my app and I was able to book Under the Sea with Little Mermaid at 12.50. So that's just like in 20 minutes. So we did pretty good here actually. Honestly, I'm still learning with the lightning lane because I have not used it that much. I really don't need the need to use it. I don't mind waiting in standby lines when I have to, but from what I can tell is you can book one and then you have to wait an hour and you can stack them or you can book one immediately after you get off a ride because that's what just happened. Before, it wouldn't let me book the Barnstormer until I did Dumbo. So I did Dumbo and then I did the Barnstormer and now I can do the Little Mermaid. So three rides in less than an hour? I mean, that's kind of cool, but it's not like that every day. So now we're gonna make our way over here. Now we do have a couple minutes, so maybe we'll go like explore around Beast Castle, but uh, 
soon we'll be going under the sea. Another thing I'd be looking forward to here at the Magic Kingdom in 2022 is a lot of the character meet and greets to come back. Ariel's still not in her grotto. Uh, Minis you can't meet or Tinkerbell. So I'd be happy to see some of those like come back and be available for guests. And I don't know if they have any plans or if they announced it, but uh, hopefully 2022 is the year. Before we make our way into the Little Mermaid, maybe we'll stop over in Gaston's here, see if we can get a La Fuse brew, you know? I haven't had one of those in a while. I think last time I was here, I asked if you guys were Team La Fuse brew or Team Butterbeer. I believe I'm all about the Butterbeer, but you know, I'm gonna try it now, but I'm sure I'm still gonna be Butterbeer. Let me know in the comments if you're Team La Fuse brew or Butterbeer. You can also get turkey legs in here, a warm cinnamon roll, and you used to be able to get the gray stuff, but they don't have the gray stuff anymore because they have the Mickey uh, Mouse Dome Cake. I'm a little sad, I missed the gray stuff. It was delicious. Look at all the barrels of La Fouze brew here. I love it. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> here it is. Ooh, it's a little bit coming off the side there. But it's frozen apple juice with a little hint of marshmallows and then passion fruit foam on top there. I think it's passion fruit or mango. But uh, I'm definitely team butterbeer. But we're going to try it again. It's still a very delicious treat here. Yeah, I like how you can you can taste the marshmallow, then the apple. I don't like the foam on top though. I don't. That's like not my favorite. Mmm. But it is good. It's refreshing. Very, very refreshing. We are definitely going to have to come back and get ourselves a cinnamon roll. I just didn't want to get a cinnamon roll today because I already had a Mickey waffle. But I see everyone's and I'm just like, oh, that is so good. And then I see some people and I'm like, why didn't they get the extra icing? I'm not even too sure why people compare Butterbeer to LeFou's Brew. Maybe they don't. Maybe it's just me that does it. But <laughs> I'm definitely, like I said, a team Butterbeer. But now it is time for Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid. That's definitely something we don't call it. We just call it Little Mermaid. Uh, and I feel like a lot of attractions, nobody really uses their full name. But it's just Little Mermaid to me. You know, honestly, I don't even know if I needed a lightning lane for this. It doesn't look too busy here. Like the queue isn't outdoors. Yeah, I think it's all inside the main building, but might as well anyway, since we already purchased the Genie Plus. It's amazing how detailed the queue in here is. I love waterfalls and the backside of water. Time to hop in our clamshell. Thank you. It's moving a little slow here, actually. <laughs> Usually I feel like it's moving quite faster. I think the uh, moving walkway is actually moving faster than the ride. It's like we're racing <laughs> a bunch of stingrays. We're racing the stingrays. Indeed. <laughs> 
And that was a nice little ride on the Little Mermaid. And uh, I don't know, I think we're gonna start making our way down to Main Street again. I decided to stop back in and you'll never believe it. They restocked the Mickey Waffle Spirit jerseys. I asked before I left, I was like, hey, do you have any more? And they said, no, what we have out is what we have. So they might've got a delivery and they also have the ears in stock too. So I'm gonna get it. I'm too, I'm a little sad though. I couldn't eat my Mickey Waffle with my Mickey Waffle Spirit jersey though. Okay, I just went in shock, but the Spirit jersey is scented with <laughs> Mickey Waffles? It is actually scented. It smells like Mickey Waffles and syrup on it. I can't even believe it. I wish you guys could smell it, but if you smell it right here, it really does. It smells like it. I could not wait and I had to go put it on right now. I love it. It is such a great spirit. Just you look at this little Mickey Waffle on my sleeve right here. Wow! I wish I had this the whole day. But, you know, at least we got it now, though, at the end of the day. And now it's going to be fresh and clean, so I can just wear it again maybe tomorrow. I'm so excited for someone to come up to me and smell my spirit jersey and say, hey, what are you wearing? And I'm going to be like, Mickey Waffles. Oh, look at this. And here comes Winnie the Pooh. Piglet, Rabbit, Eeyore, Tigger. Oh, wow. I always get excited and have to stop and say hi. Oh, look, I got a little wave by Eeyore right there. <laughs> nice. And I guess with that, we're gonna call it a day here. It was a fun morning, full of Mickey waffles, rides, and just enjoying the day. And also the Omnibus. Totally forgot about that because it was such an amazing thing. But how cool was that? Honestly, I had a great day today. And I think I'm gonna come uh, for the mornings more often. Do you know what I mean? I kind of like the atmosphere. I think for a while there, I was on a kick where I always did mornings. And then I switched over to evenings. But uh, I think I'm gonna switch back to try a little morning. So I'm gonna throw those in the mixes and just enjoy, you know, Walt Disney World. Anywho. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. And take a look at this pretty princess right here. Oh, yes, yes. Oh. I have to show you guys something, and it actually has to do with Gracie and me. But I want to say hello. Look at her. She's so beautiful. I'm shooting this on my phone because I want to add this into the video and I already have the clips uploaded but this right here I received in the mail is something so amazing and it made me like basically just get so happy just as happy as I was riding the omnibus and I want to show you guys and uh yeah it's pretty amazing Jim and Carrie thank you so much I love this you guys have no idea how amazing this is. Look at Gracie girl right here. I got a Bud Light, my magic band, and I'm actually wearing the same shirt, my hat, my glasses. This is a work of art and I love it so much and I'm gonna cherish this forever. Seriously, look at how amazing this is. I love it so much. Do you love it? Huh? You love it? Let me take this off. Huh? What? I got this? That's us? Huh?